All right, so now we are doing value practice. Um, and there are a couple ways to do this. When we are trying to make watercolors light or dark, there are lots, there are several ways to do it. One is through layering, and I'm not gonna be able to show you that here, but I will be able to show you this in the live demo tomorrow in class, um, or during class when you're, when you're not watching this, you'll probably see me do a live one because I can go over this dried one that's in here. Um, so one way is by layering one layer of dry on top of another layer of dry, and my ones up here aren't quite dry enough for me to show you this. Actually, that one's pretty good. I can show you right now. So I've got that orange there. See how it's a nice flat wash? If I go in and take another wash of orange and put it on top, see how it's already making it a little bit darker. The other way is more or less water. So if I put either wet into wet or if I just put lots of water in my brush and I pick up a tiny bit of paint, it's gonna be a, and I spread that tiny bit of paint a large space, it's going to be light. If I go over here and I activate my watercolor, activate my watercolor, activate my watercolor, so I'm picking, I'm taking that same little amount of water and I'm picking up a lot more paint. See how dark my paintbrush is? And then I put this over here. Now you're going to see that that can get darker, okay? And then when we're doing something like a value scale, you wanna do the things in between. Now, uh, you do not wanna do them all together. So I'm gonna do the one that's in the middle. I'm gonna let the other two dry. I'm gonna come back and do them because I'm gonna do the sphere and then I'm gonna go back and forth. That's something you wanna do when we are working in class or when you're working at home. You want to take and do a little bit let that area dry so that you don't bleed from one color into another. And we're gonna talk about that when we get into to, to blending two colors. So now I'm gonna take the same orange cause I'm, I'm doing that value study in orange and I'm trying to take kind of a medium tone. So I'm looking at that. It's a little darker. It might not quite be dark enough. I'm thinking I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm taking that little bit more and I'm putting it in the middle and then spreading it out so it's in that same space. And then I can wash my brush. Now, if when we're doing a sphere, if the light, and I'm gonna do the sphere in red, the light is coming from this direction. I'm drawing myself that arrow so I know the light is coming from that direction. So if I'm looking at, I don't have a sphere on my, in my house right now. Um, but you can look at my hand, see how my light is over here and it's coming from that direction. It's very light over here. And then it gradually gets darker until it comes to the other side. So once again, I can, I can activate, activate, activate and make a nice dark, dark over on the dark side. And then I can rinse my brush and I can make just, oop, just picked up too much already and make a nice light light on the light side. And then I'm gonna pause, just like I paused over here. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit so that when I go in to do that middle ground, that dark stays dark and that light stays light and it doesn't just become a flat wash. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna come back over here because my light is pretty much dry. My, the light that I've got on this, your, yours might dry a little slower than mine, um, because I do have a big, heavy light for this video, which makes it so that it dries pretty quickly. Okay, oops, I picked up too much paint, so I gotta go wash it out. Put a little bit, oop, picked up too much paint. Go get some more paint, or go get some more water, so that I can get that, that medium in between. Oop, not quite enough. A little bit, a little bit, wash out the rest. So this is why it's important to have a water cup right next to you when you're using watercolor, but it doesn't need to be a lot of water because already my water is once again getting dirty because I'm using it. And I don't want dirty water to pollute my colors. So after I finish this video, I'm gonna go change my water again. So there we go. I got light to dark. And then I'm gonna come back over here and the dark's still a little wet, but the light's a little, the light's almost dry. So I can go in, take a little bit, and do the next layer, that next layer of color. I can come in here and do the next layer of color. 
I kind of did that one a little early. And then do, I can make them bleed in between. And then you've got this nice sphere coming down. Now my dark is pretty dry, so I can go over here. And I can even take a darker value, like I'm going to come over here and activate my purple because I haven't used it yet. And I can put that. Now a shadow should be dark. It should be darker right close to the body and lighter as it goes out. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do it wet into wet. It might not work. I might be showing you a demonstration of things you should not do. This purple is not very dark. See, things I'm learning while using this watercolor for the first time. So I'm trying to pull that dark. Now see how it's kind of pooling a little bit? Let me move that over. You don't want your watercolor to pool like that. And you're going to see when I dry this, and I think I'm actually going to let that do that. So you can see when this dries, what that's going to look like when it's done. So that is value practice.